that's a triple play. New episodes, I can't wait. The first game, press play, no need to debate. AOA, check me out. Yeah. Clock in, you can catch the hype. Golden Dawn, how we follow the light. Anime like life, uh, married to it, my wife. Uh. <sighs> Dude, the show does always just look so clean with the animation. <laughs> she said bathing suit. The fuck? Thirteen is uh <laughs> He knows he's like hey Rudius knock it off Oh yeah there's monsters in there <laughs> Oh starting back up with that music though it's like we never left a world Oh it's uh Roxes Rox Roxy Rock Rox Rock Damn it, I don't remember. I know it starts with an R. <laughs> oh, this show like to do that thing where it's like the OP plays with the episode. It's alright. It's beautiful, so I can't... <laughs> Look at this. This duck man, I think. Oh, dude, look at their beaks. That's crazy. Whoops. Oh, such a good song. Hey, give me that title card. Mojo Kotensi. Oh, who that? Oh, she got the RR voice. Oh, it's her. Or I mean, the blue hair. It's she's here too. Oh, this must have been her crew. Like who she came here with. Bro, oh, oh my God! I hate when they when shows do that. They're like, right, he's right there. Just turn around. Ah, uh, <sighs> mad dog errors. Guard dog. <laughs> They're the dogs. What's Rudius? The perverted dog. <laughs> Horn dog. <laughs> Dude. Kennel master. Oh. Okay. I think horn dog's better. Not as a, like, funnier, I should say. It's not a better nickname. It is terrible. But that's a funny nickname. Whoa. Whoa. Sometimes I feel like we be in Rudy's head for like just a little too long. <laughs> you just start, you know, free speaking and you're like, Rudy's, relax. Whoa. Hey, hey, relax. You have to remember that like you're still 13, I think, in this world at least. And so is Eris. So relax. Oh. That's that real life shit. Hanging out with your homies, and you're like, all right, guys, uh, funds is running low. <laughs> Could you run across the ocean? This isn't Naruto. Oh, 
Oh, my man. Forever Noble. <laughs> yeah, Eris, go ahead. Use that brain. Yeah, it's interesting because, like, you know, they obviously they don't uh, they don't have a lot of money, and you know, which is their problem right now, just trying to figure out how to navigate and get around and and live. But it's like, you know, I remember from the last season, um, uh, Rudyard's a lot of his, um, you know, a lot of his like morals and principles and stuff kind of like forbids them from going certain routes and stuff. So I wonder how much that's going to continue to play into what's happening here. Oh, it's time to talk to this dude again. <laughs> yeah, that's an understatement. Oh, yeah, this is a classic shit, bro, where it's like the god of whatever gives you advice or future foresight of something but because you don't get the specifics of how to interpret it you kind of like end up using your own intuition to, to do something and it ends up like messing it up because it's like no oh, you were supposed to do this but it's like you didn't tell me so how would i know oh dude something like kind of unnerving about watching this god guy like just move around i don't know if it's just like the cgi or if that's like intentional but it's unsettling, to say the least. <laughs> okay, cool. It's nice kind of talking to you. Not really. All right, so we got to go to some alleyway tomorrow. I like these, like, outfits that they're wearing. I mean, one, it's just cool that they all kind of match, you know, with the headbands and, you know, representing with the squad. But, like, I, I just like the look of them all. Especially Eris's. I like those boots. And that she can turn up. Ooh! God, her sword is literally just like a giant, like, meat cleaver. Oh, crap! She's here! Ooh! Ooh, she said, what you looking at? Keep your eyes on the fight. Oh, she disarmed him? Okay. 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 Oh, look how happy she is. It, I, You know what, man? I love her. I love that everything Ares does is, like, she's just so passionate about it. it like, every response is, like, an a, 11 out of 10 emotionally. But wait, what was, uh, I gotta figure out her name, dude. I want to look it up, but I kind of don't want to pause this to do that. The, the blue haired art, art, uh, Rudy's mentor was like literally there. She was like watching them. So does she know that Rudy is here? Cause she, I don't think she, I don't think she knew that. Um, oh, <laughs> oh, they got me with that one. Roxy. Oh. Thank you, Rudius. Thank you. Does Roxy know that? <laughs> Bro. Okay, so she definitely knows that Rudy's here, right? Like that she's tailing him. That's the the assumption here. Oh, is this why he was told to get the food? Because it's like, oh, you're going to meet somebody who's starving. And apparently also, uh, like, literally just disappearing and evaporating. Yeah, but I feel like this is a situation where, like, you're going to give her this food and then she's going to turn into this beautiful ass chick. Oh, with sharp teeth, apparently. Oh, is she gonna be like a cute demon girl or something? Is that what we is that what we're dealing with here? Damn, she can throw down. Oh, okay. Yep, I was right. 
look, bro, I've seen I've seen one too many anime, okay? I know what we're dealing with here. For another year? Yeah, girl, you had like six uh kebabs. How's that gonna hold you for a whole year? Oh. <laughs> okay. Sure, sure. I'm sure that's exactly what they call you. Oh, damn. He's just sunk right into the roleplay. Oh, my God. What is the actual deal here? Oh, what is that? What? What is happening? How disgusting. Weren't you, like, just rotting in an alleyway two seconds ago? She is totally dressed as a succubus, which is even weirder because she looks like she's eight. Give me all the power in the world. Or money. He's probably gonna ask for money. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I I mean, shit that... Whoa. <laughs> oh, so you... I <laughs> Like half the world. That is a big wish. Alright. That's, that's 0 for 2. Rudius, come on, man. But I guess this is the... What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Ah! Uh, oh my god, dude. This first episode is coming out with a bang, dude. It put me through the ringers. Demon eyes. Oh, is that why her, like, it, her eye did that, like, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, the, uh, slot machine thing? Where she can give pe- Holy shit! Oh my god! Is she actually- Oh my god! Oh, what? Bro, if you asked me what my what the number one thing is that anime always be doing that trips me up and get like like low key breaks my immersion is that everybody is like an eye surgeon. Like, people be swapping eyes like you do pencils in anime. Like, it's crazy. You just be like, oh, you need a new eye? Here. And it's like, that's, like, what? You do understand how many parts of the body you have to rip out and replace to just swap eyes? But, I mean, whatever. I guess we only got 22 minutes. Uh-oh. I love that every, like, drunk jerk in a show has the same, like, tone of with their voice. It's like this... Ugh. Whoa, what the hell was that? Did it make him attack somebody? Oh, no, no, she dropped, that woman dropped the vase. Oh, was he, was he saving him? Did he save him? Yeah, that's, mm, that's what I think happened. Well, I guess he would, right? I 
can see through all things. Who knows? That chick is something else, bro. I do like the way the eye looks, though. Guys, I love seeing Ares happy. I just do. She's just so she's so cute and she's so confident and and awesome. Oh, okay, now we're doing some some Rudius training. I, I really do I really do wanna see Rudius like get good with like uh weapon training and like sword fighting and stuff. Cause obviously he's a mage, that's what he excels at, but like I just feel like he's gone through so much training in physical combat. Oh, oh, so this eye is like some, we're on some Sharingan shit, bro. Oh, shit. Bro, we're on some gamer shit where you've like run up Dark Souls boss and you just know what's happening. I mean, obviously it's the eye that's helping him, but like it's predicting every attack. Damn. Wow, bro, and he wrapped that shit up quick. Damn. Oh, yeah, you're not going to get to jump on him no more. Not with that demon eye. Oh, she now she's upset because she lost. Damn, girl, you got to be a little more graceful in defeat than that, though. Especially if you're going to be fighting. Okay, so I guess that's a that's a common thing wherever the demon empress is from. I mean, don't go pushing your luck. I think you could you could uh easily <laughs> Yeah, I knew it. It's like you may be able to see a couple seconds. That should'll work on Eris because she's still training. Uh but not a seasoned fighter. Oh. Oh, she's upset. Oh, damn it, Rudius! I don't, I don't know. Oof! It's a, yeah, it's an awkward situation to be in. It's like, why don't I have this demon eye? So now. These, yeah, these these are the moments we need, bro. I don't mind, like, Rudy is being, you know, making mistakes and being a, a jerk sometimes or taking things too far other times, as long as he, like, has the sense to learn from it and, like, you know, uh, uh, like, not reminisce, but, like, think back on it and reflect on it. <laughs> he said, I don't believe for a second that's what you're doing. Oh, because they don't have money. I think if I remember correctly, that was the a gift he got from Eris, right? For his birthday in season one. Oh no, the hitting us with the sad OST. We're about to have a serious talk.
Oh, and it's like, is that... Oh, yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, there's there might be options, but, you know, his, uh, his, his code, like, doesn't let him... Doesn't let, you know, that be an... Doesn't let that be an option for them. Oof. Yeah, it's true, like, the, the whole... Oh, damn. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Yo, somebody take that phrase and get it printed on a fucking shirt. Oh, what? You about to get jumped? Oh, is this dude? What you want? Oh, now this dude's like a upstanding citizen all of a sudden. Episode twelve: The woman with the demon eyes. Okay, new ED. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. I mean, this show has really always, you know, even from season one. Obviously, it's always hella impressed me with the visuals. Oh man, I miss all the people we met in season one. I want to. I hope we see them again. Okay, I'm with it, I'm with it. <laughs> ah, the playfulness. So that that was that was that was good. That was just straight good. That was a great start off to the season, in my opinion. Um, the show does not fail to disappoint. It, it sort of hits you with all of its strengths. I feel like, you know, just rapid succession, right? Like one after the other. You've got this always consistently beautiful animation. These characters here have really, I feel like, learned to mesh well together in terms of all their different personalities and their quirks and stuff. You know, you got Rudius, who's like this, you know, this sometimes i almost don't know how to describe him he's he's like got the the wisdom you know in air quotes or and like general experience of somebody who is obviously like a 40 year old adult but like doesn't have any of the like social skills or you know uh you know interactive you know abilities whatever you want to call it of you know somebody who would also be 40 um, so it's like in some ways he is a 40 year old man and then in other ways he literally is like a you know 12 or whatever year old kid um it's uh it so you know he and then that's his whole shtick you got Eris who Eris has really been growing on me bro I don't know if it was just this, this break away from it in season one you know obviously that's when you're meeting her you know she's at her youngest and most inexperienced then she's just kind of this loud tsundere ish like broody type chick who's just running around and whooping Rudy his ass not that he didn't deserve it sometimes but there wasn't like anything there wasn't much past that and there were a couple moments that you got to like those walls would come down for a minute and you got to like see into her a little bit but uh you know 
I, 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 I definitely like her more now, and I, you know, I obviously hope that continues. I, uh, she's, you know, she's, she's a, like I said in the reaction, she's just a very passionate girl. She, you know, sort of goes at everything that she loves doing 110%, and, you know, that, you, so you get that with the good and the bad, right? When she's really happy about something, she's over ecstatic and, and jumping around and, and, you know, she's, she's just, she looks so happy and, 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 but then like when she's upset about stuff, you know, it's that same level of passion when she's angry or upset. And to be fair, at least in this episode, you know, I totally get it. Like, you know what I mean? It, it, it's like, imagine it's, it's that anime thing of like somebody who's been training all their life or, or, you know, week after week, month after month, whatever. And then Rudius just gets a demon eye slapped into him, you know? generic anime power up and now he's just like better he can like counter all her moves and shit um and granted it 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 works for someone like eris again who is still training to be a fighter a, you know a competent fighter and, and like not that she's not good but that but her compared to someone like uh rujid 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 i don't know how to say his name i'm sorry um but their demon guy their demon homie um who's a you know who's a, like a veteran seasoned fighter like you know just because you can see these moves doesn't mean like you can predict you know exactly how to beat them and stuff um so you're not get that's that is not going to work on everybody unless obviously rudius perhaps like trains and gets stronger um and he's really cool too i, I th that conversation at the end i think is uh, the, you know sort of the obvious takeaway from this episode um that line that he has dude i i i want to it's uh Said something like talking talking from the the heart like this is hard isn't it and it's like yeah it is dude <laughs> but that's what i love about this show you know is i think people see it you know the, the the casual generic anime fan will see this show and be like okay gotcha another you know another isekai with all its fan service and magical powers and fantasy and stuff and like it is it, the isekai stuff is in there the fan service is there but i actually think this show does it much more tastefully than believe it or not than other isekai do i mean you know i like it's i don't know if it's a consequence of how many i've seen but like dude some isekai literally just don't care <laughs> like they just slap that shit in front of you like it's like they're just fucking taping together pieces of paper you know scene after scene and they just don't care what it looks like but this show everything makes sense everything in the world again rudius you know rudius gets a lot of uh flack in my opinion because people are like oh well he's a 40 year old man how why would he be acting like an actual kid again and it's like if you actually pay attention and like listen to the the beginnings of the episodes in season one they do make it a very apparent and even in moments in his mind when he's talking and monologuing they make it apparent to to tell you that rudius is 40 like physically with age but not mentally right Men he, he was a literal neat he was a literal shut-in who did nothing but stay inside his house he didn't even finish school because he was so traumatized by like the events that he talked about in season one so it's like of course rudius is you know that's what's so great about this is rudius is still learning how to is still growing up he's still he, he, this is literally a do-over in the most literal sense of how isekai do it he's getting another chance another shot at life and he's trying to do it right and i think for as many shortcomings and flaws as rudy's has he there's always the show always demonstrates moments where he sees that internalizes it and is like oh that wasn't right okay like that's i fucked up i got too carried away like i need to know like to do better and he's always trying to do better and like you can't I feel like you can't be mad at that. You can't be mad at somebody who, you know, A, makes mistakes because who the hell in existence is perfect. And, but he, he's trying to better himself, right? Even in, again, in this episode, we get another demonstration of it where he's, he has that moment where he kind of uses the demon eye to, to show up Eris a little bit and gets excited because he beat her in a fight. And, but then after he sees how upset it made her. And when she says like, you know, you know, I've been training so hard and you just come in here the demon eye, he, he's regretful. He's like, oh shit, I shouldn't have done that. Like that wasn't, you know, I'm supposed to be trying to find a way to take her home, not like showing off my, my new power up. And it's like, that's, that reflection is pivotal in my opinion to his character and this show working. Cause if he was just this, your classic pompous, like, yeah, I'm this, I'm basically God, uh, he's a guy protagonist that there's a million of already. Um, like who would care? Who would care what this kid does? If he gets better, if he finds what he's looking for, who cares? But the fact that you clearly do see him trying to become a better person, like that's what matters. And that conversation that they have at the end where, where, um, again, Rudyard, um, you know, decides to take his pride, to take his, his, his code, his moral, you know, uh, compass and be like, look, I'm putting this to the side. I understand the situation here is hard and we don't have money and it's kind of my fault. So I'm willing to overlook any evils that we have to use 
to to get home to get this job you know to to complete our journey here you know that's a big compromise for him and because we saw how much he w wasn't willing to budge in season one um so it's a big compromise for him to be able to do that and it's just it shows a how how much closer this group has gotten as a three uh team unit here three-man unit and you know how ultimately how much trust they have in him right you know i imagine that he's making this compromise because he trusts that rudius isn't going to take advantage of it and and do excessive things that he doesn't like but just enough to get them where they got to go um yeah this is good all right i've been rambling for long enough apologize i just this is the you know getting back into the show it's the first time I've, i'm all these things from season one are coming up in my head um but i really like this can't wait to get to the next episode thank you guys very much for watching uh, again, I hope you're liking this video. If you've already watched it, those likes are literally worth their weight in gold around here on the YouTube algorithm. Uh, and commenting below with Mushuku Tensei, what was your favorite part of this episode? Favorite parts of, you know, favorite characters, standout moments. Uh, obviously, don't spoil anything. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel because we are watching a ton of different anime over here. Not just me with Mushuku Tensei, uh, but I myself am also watching Hunter x Hunter. It's a show I've never seen before. Uh, we've got a ton of different stuff. Haikyuu and many more there's there's i won't go through all of them now um and also if you guys are feeling so inclined uh our patreon is available if you go down to the description there's the link to something called linktree you click that link and it'll take you to all the different links and stuff all the social media channels that you can support us at we would very much greatly greatly appreciate it um but specifically that patreon one because you can get early and unfiltered reactions uh, or you know our reaction videos early and unfiltered so you know we don't have to there's sound on them and you can see the visuals we don't have to do all the you know the bs stuff that we have to do just to dodge youtube copyright out here um yeah so that's definitely a great way to get you know a little bit something extra uh and it's it helps support the show and it helps us do what we're doing at the pace that we want to do it at which is you know just all we want to do um is, is bring you guys content for as long as we physically can so that's it that's all the plug in Thank you guys again so much for watching the video. I'll see you in the next episode. Peace. Ninjas are samurais. Blaze of the cool knives. Find me in the leaf of the cloud. Screaming out Bankai. We just some ghouls though. Who like seeing parts fly? They like what you saying. Goma got more through the storylines. I tested your neck from the start. My hunters gon' come for your heart. I promise you'll land in my boulevard. Left them in one piece. No.